In this video tutorial, we guide you through the step-by-step -step process of adding the V380 indoor dual lens pan and tilt camera to your Wi-Fi network and setting it up with the V380 Pro app. The V380 dual lens Wi-Fi camera delivers crystal clear HD resolution and features remote pan, tilt, and zoom capabilities, along with dual lens technology for superior monitoring. With one fixed lens offering consistent coverage and the second lens rotating both vertically and horizontally, you'll enjoy comprehensive surveillance of your home or office. The V380 dual lens camera comes packed with advanced features to ensure comprehensive security. It includes intelligent human detection with auto tracking to capture any movement, along with clear night vision that provides visibility up to 10 meters. The camera supports up to 128GB SD cards and cloud storage for additional security options. Whenever motion is detected, it triggers instant alarms and sends real-time notifications to your device. With its built-in microphone and speaker, you can enjoy two-way audio communication. The V380 Pro app, available on both iOS and Android, allows for full control, live streaming, and playback, giving you easy access to recorded footage. You can also customize detection settings to suit your needs, ensuring the camera keeps a vigilant watch, even in low-light conditions. The V380 Dual Lens Camera comes with the following accessories, a user manual, a USB power adapter, a C-type USB power cable, and a camera fixing mount with screws for easy installation. Memory Card Installation Before installing or removing the memory card, ensure that the camera is powered off to avoid damage to both the camera and the card. The microSD card slot is located on the bottom of the rotating lens. To access it, gently lift the camera lens upward. Insert the memory card as shown in the video, ensuring it fits securely in the slot. The camera supports microSD cards up to 512GB. With a 512GB card, you can record up to 3 weeks of footage, depending on video quality and whether you're using continuous or event-based recording. After installing the memory card, power on the camera to begin recording. Power up the camera. To power up the camera, connect it to a power source using the provided DC power adapter and USB cable. Once plugged in, the camera will begin its startup sequence, during which the pan tilt PT, lens will rotate, signaling that the camera is powering on. A red light will initially illuminate, indicating the camera is in the booting process. As the boot up completes, the red light will turn blue and start flashing, or you may hear a voice announcement instructing you to connect the camera to your Wi-Fi network. Camera is starting, please wait. Ensure the power connection is stable to avoid interruptions during the boot up. Please scan the QR code on the camera and wait for the connection. Once the light turns blue or the voice prompt is heard, the camera is ready for Wi-Fi configuration. Download and install the V380 Pro app. To begin, download the V380 Pro app from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store by searching for V380 Pro. The installation process typically takes a few minutes and is dependent on your internet speed. Once the app is installed, tap to open it. You will be greeted with a prompt to accept the terms and conditions of use, which is crucial for utilizing the app's features legally and responsibly. After accepting the terms, you will encounter a brief feature introduction that outlines the app's key functionalities, including live streaming capabilities, playback options, and customization settings. This introduction is designed to help you familiarize yourself with the app's interface and features before you start using it. Next, on the login screen, you will be prompted to select your region. This step is essential as it tailors the app settings to your specific location, optimizing aspects such as time zone adjustments and language preferences. Selecting the correct region ensures that the app functions properly and enhances your user experience by providing relevant local content and features. 
After setting your region, you will have the option to either log in with an existing account or register for a new one. If you already have a V380 account, simply enter your email address or phone number along with your password to access your account. This login process is straightforward and allows you to quickly get started with your camera management. For new users, the registration process is equally simple. You can choose to sign up using either an email address or mobile number, depending on your preference. For those opting for mobile number registration, first enter your phone number. It is important to select the appropriate country code from the drop-down menu to ensure your number is formatted correctly for your location. This step is crucial, as an incorrect country code may result in verification issues later on. Once you've entered your phone number, you will need to complete a CAPTCHA verification to confirm that you are not a robot. This step helps enhance the security of the registration process. After successfully completing the CAPTCHA, you will receive a verification code via SMS. Enter this code into the app to verify your phone number. Finally, you will be prompted to create a password, which will complete your registration process and allow you to start using the V380 Pro app to manage your camera effectively. Once your registration is complete, you can use your email address or mobile number as your user ID to log into the app. When logging in, be sure to enter the password you created during the registration process. If you choose to log in with your mobile number, it's important to double-check that you include the correct area code. After entering your credentials, tap the login button to access your V380 Pro account and start managing your camera settings. Be sure to read the introduction screen features of the app to understand its capabilities. Familiarizing yourself with these functionalities will enhance your user experience and help you make the most of your camera. When you're ready to add your camera device, ensure it is in network connection mode. If not, reboot or reset the camera by pressing the reset button for 5 to 10 seconds. Once reset, the camera will enter network connection mode, allowing you to add it to the app smoothly. Reset completed. Camera is restarting. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi, keep the camera near the internet modem or router to set up the Wi-Fi and mobile app. Afterward, you can place the camera in its desired location. Camera is starting. Please wait. Please scan the QR code on the camera and wait for the connection. To add your camera, start by opening the app and clicking on the Add Device button or the plus symbol. This action will launch the camera scanner within the app. You will need to scan the QR code displayed on your camera using this scanner. This QR code is used to establish communication between the camera and the app, so ensure you scan it accurately. During this process, the app will request permission to access certain features on your phone, such as your location, photos, and gallery. Granting these permissions is essential for the app to function correctly and complete the setup process without issues. Before you continue, verify that your phone is connected to your modem or router's Wi-Fi network. The camera requires a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network to connect, it does not support the 5 GHz frequency. Ensure your phone is on the correct network and enter your Wi-Fi password when prompted. This step allows the camera to connect to your Wi-Fi network through the app, enabling it to communicate effectively and begin streaming. Once you've entered your Wi-Fi password, the app will generate a QR code for you. To proceed, hold your phone in front of the camera lens, ensuring that the QR code is displayed clearly. Receive configuration information. Position your phone about 10 to 30 centimeters away from the camera lens for optimal scanning. Connecting. As the camera scans the QR code, it will announce network connected, confirming that the setup was successful. Network connected. 
After hearing this prompt, click on the button labeled, I heard network connected, in the app to finalize the connection process. This step confirms that the camera has successfully connected to your Wi-Fi network, allowing you to access its features and monitor your surroundings through the app. After the camera is successfully connected, you can enter or select your desired device name to personalize your setup. This name will help you easily identify the camera in your app, especially if you have multiple devices. Once you've named your camera, click on the View Device button to access the live feed from the camera. It's also important to securely back up and store the generated QR code. Keeping a copy of this QR code is essential because it contains the information needed to configure or modify the network settings of your V380 camera in the future. If you ever need to make changes, you can quickly retrieve the saved QR code data and use it to streamline the setup process again, ensuring your camera remains connected and functional. Additionally, a screen may prompt you to initialize the memory card when first setting it up. If this does not appear, you can manually check the memory card status or initialize it through the camera settings to ensure it starts recording footage properly. Once the setup is complete, the V380 camera is ready for use, with features like PTZ control that allow you to pan, tilt, and rotate the camera according to your needs. You will also need to configure the initial setup, including the date and time settings, and adjust the recording preferences. To do this, click on the three dots icon on the camera's main page, then select the, the Settings option. Under the a Device Time option, set the camera's date and time according to your location. In the recording settings, you'll find options for SD card storage. If the SD card hasn't been initialized or formatted yet, click on Format SD Card to prepare it for recording. You can choose between continuous or event-based recording and adjust the video quality. Formatting. When the initialization process begins, the camera will prompt with the word Formatting. Once the SD card initialization is successful, the recording will begin according to the selected recording mode, whether it's continuous or event-based. Formatting completed. The camera will issue a voice prompt confirming the initialization is complete, signaling that it's ready to start recording footage. Additionally, you may see the REC symbol on the camera's live screen, confirming that the recording has started successfully. This visual indicator ensures that your footage is being recorded according to the selected mode. After configuring Wi-Fi and adding the camera to the app, you can install the device in its designated location. The camera will now be fully operational, providing live streaming, playback, and PTZ controls from anywhere, whether using mobile data or a Wi-Fi internet connection worldwide. For further clarification or additional information, in another segment of this video series, we offer detailed explanations about storage settings, event alert, and two-way audio and other configuration. If you found this video useful, please consider supporting us. Your support helps us create more informative content like this and enables us to continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's through liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support is greatly appreciated.